If you've watched the Matboard Basics training video, you understand how matboards protect artwork and why conservation grade matboard is the better choice for protecting art. But how do you communicate the value of using premium materials to your customers? The good news is, it may be easier than you think, because customers have already told us just how important it is to them. When consumers choose where to get their artwork custom framed, research shows that quality, trust, and expertise are critical factors. We're learning a lot about what is important to our customers. For example, here's what our customers are telling us about the value of quality. 82% of customers agree, when it comes to custom framing, preserving the item is as important as creating a wonderful display for my walls. 72% of consumers agree, custom framing is expensive, but it is worth it. Not all consumers are solely price driven. Framers must be expert in establishing a value for the service they provide and the products they use. Confidence in the expertise of a framing associate is also a critical consideration. 79% of consumers agree, I value the advice and expertise that is provided when I take something to be custom framed. 79% of consumers also agree that I value custom framing because it makes the piece of art even more unique and special. Consumers are basing purchase decisions on perceived framer expertise. Framers must be confident in conveying their expertise throughout the design process. Finally, trust is critical to a consumer. Here's what they're saying. 88% of consumers agree, when I take something to be framed, I need to trust the person or the shop to handle the piece properly. 76% of consumers agree, I don't just take anything to be custom framed only pieces that have a very special meaning to me. Custom framing is not an impulse purchase. It is a process to which consumers give very special consideration. Understanding the emotional attachment consumers have with their art is critical to achieving a positive framing experience. As you can see, the consumer is relying on you to provide a lot more than a fast, cheap framing job. We'll focus more on these key customer needs in further training but it is important to realize the critical role you play in a successful and enjoyable customer experience. Nearly every design process starts with the mat board, since it is closest to the art and plays such an important role in the overall design. In addition to protecting the artwork, the matting creates a visual resting place for the eye, creates a boundary between the wall color and the artwork, and creates a custom high-end look that complements the art. Here is an example of artwork that is framed with matting that is too narrow. As you can see, the entire piece looks cramped and out of proportion. Using wider matboard widths to move the frame further away from the art allows the eye to see the entire framed piece first, and then focus on the art. If the frame is too close to the art, the eye struggles on where to look or rest, which can make it difficult for the customer to appreciate the art. Matboard corners are made with 4 inch widths to allow you to show your customer how much more balanced and attractive their art can be with wider mats. So be confident demonstrating this feature to your customers. Once you've established the value of added matting, then the design fun begins. Though sometimes the creative options can seem overwhelming, your customer can provide some important cues if you ask the right questions, like what are the room colors where this art will be displayed? What is your personal design style? Or, describe the style of the room where you plan to display the finished artwork. Is it vintage? Modern? Casual? Formal? What drew you to the artwork? Are there particular colors in this piece that appeal to you? Remember that the framing design is a partnership with the customer. Follow their cues to discover if they want to dive in and help drive the process, or if they look to your expertise for guidance. Regardless of their preferred level of involvement, be sure to demonstrate the design decisions being made whenever possible, such as using a tape measure to show the intended matting width, or using matting and picture frame corners to illustrate the intended design. Remember, though room decor and the customer's personal style is important, the best way to ensure a great finished design is to focus on complementing and not competing with the artwork. Select matte colors that accent the artwork, 
but avoid top matte colors that match too closely with the primary colors in the art, or the art may get lost. Conversely, matte board that is in high contrast with the artwork may be too stark. Search for a happy medium of matte color that coordinates with colors found within the artwork. Another important clue in selecting the best matting option is to identify the color temperature of the artwork. Here are two examples of predominantly warm colored artwork paired with warm matte boards. Here are two examples of cool toned artwork and matting. Note that green could be warm or cool depending on its level of tint, tone, and saturation. It may seem like the matte board rack has too many whites, but there is a reason that there are so many. The artwork and the matte boards all have subtle color variations, so they're actually not the same white at all. Because of these subtle nuances, whites can be a little tricky and unforgiving if the wrong one is chosen. Take this black and white photo. The cool tones in the grayscale image look best when paired with a cool white. Look at how drab the same image looks when paired with a warm white. Conversely, this vintage image looks best when paired with a warmer tone matte that echoes the colors in the artwork. The cool white on the left does nothing to enhance the artwork. Colors can also evoke an era, so be sure that the matte board enhances the period of the artwork, whether brightly colored contemporary art, dusty vintage hues, or traditional colored artwork, choose matte board colors that are appropriate to the artwork and the era. Here are three examples of artwork from vastly different eras, suitably paired with matte board colors that echo that same era. In addition to protecting the artwork, matte board can also play a key role in adding visual richness and drama to a framed piece. Using unique matting color combinations and creative spacing and cuts can create a look that is truly custom. Using the right mix of color and texture when appropriate in matting can also make all the difference. The best framers always lead with their best because it lets your customer see their artwork in its best light. Remember, consumers custom frame art because they have made an emotional connection to it and they want to see it looking as good as it can. It allows you to present higher end products for a better selling price. Showing upgrade options like a triple mat makes the purchase of a triple mat or at least a double mat much more likely because once a customer sees how much more custom and complete a triple matted piece can look, they won't usually want to settle for a single mat or no mat at all. Fabric mats have an added richness and when a fabric is shown next to artwork with rich, deep colors, it is tough to settle for a normal mat. If you don't lead with a fabric, your customer may never know how much more dramatic their art could look, and you could miss the chance to upgrade the sale. It makes the likelihood of an upgraded purchase much greater. We'll talk about the different design techniques and spacing options in use here in a moment, but you can already see how choosing the right combination of color and dimension can have a huge impact on the look of the finished piece. Now that we've discussed color and texture in matting design, Let's talk about more design techniques that can really add value and interest to the finished piece. When it comes to recommending the right matte board width, there are no rules, but there are guidelines and we can take cues from the size of the artwork, customer preferences, current trends, and the overall visual balance of the piece. You can see from the examples here that the matting width can make a significant difference in the overall look of the finished piece. Whether you or the customer feel that a 2.5 inch or 3.5 inch mat looks best for a print of this size is certainly subjective, but care should be taken when considering a thinner mat or no mat at all, since the goal is to provide custom framing that looks beautiful, balanced, unique, and custom made for your client. When the opening in a mat board is cut, it is usually cut at an angle. The exposed mat board core is called a bevel. And depending on the color of the matte board core, whether white or black or cream, the bevel can provide a nice decorative accent to the colors in the matting and the art. Sometimes, however, the bevel can detract from the overall look of the piece. In this example, a vintage print is matted with weathered neutrals, and a sharp white or black bevel would only take away from the look of the piece. In this case, the framer can cut the opening of the mat in the reverse direction, so that no bevel shows at all. This cutting technique is also ideal when framing with mats that have different colored cores, when the tone of the artwork would not benefit from the accent color of the bevel, or when matting with fillets. 
Another technique for creating a custom look is using a foam spacer between the layers of matte board. Spacers create a separation between the glass and the matte that has the effect of drawing your eye into the art. These spacers can vary in depth and can even be layered between multiple mats for added depth and drama. Spacers really help create a value for the custom framing process, and they're a great way to get a customer to use multiple mats. They are also ideal when you are matting artwork that has a tendency to flake off over time, like artwork created with dry media like charcoal, chalk, or pastels. As the tiny particles fall from the artwork, they get caught in the void created by the spacer and help keep the art looking its best. V-grooves are a popular matte cutting technique that helps draw the eye in toward the artwork. It is particularly effective when you want to subtly accent a piece without adding a number of additional matte board layers. B grooves create a break in the colored surface of the mat and create the illusion that there are additional mat board layers in the piece without adding to the overall depth of the framing. This is particularly helpful when the customer doesn't want to use multiple mats or when you are using a frame that isn't deep enough to accommodate many mat board layers. Another popular custom framing offering is the fillet, which can also be pronounced fillet. Fillets look like mini frames inside the glass and when paired with the right mat and frame, can really tie a finished framed piece together. Most fillet designs also make the finished framed piece look classic and more timeless. While fillets can create a look that is quite custom, care should be taken when pairing fillets with valuable artwork, since they contain acid and lignin that can harm the artwork over time if placed in direct contact with the art. Adding an additional bottom mat between the art and the fillet can be an ideal solution if the protection of the art is important. Customers come to you for framing because they have made an emotional connection and attachment to their artwork. They want it to look its best, and they want to display it proudly in their home. Understanding the customer and what they are looking for is key if we want to help them be fully satisfied. One of the most valuable tools in a framer's design toolbox is the ability to use multiple mats. Multiple mats add visual and perceived value, create depth and balance for the framed piece, and allow the framer to pull multiple colors from the art and the room to help tie everything together. So now you know you can confidently recommend matting in your customer consultations, because you know why conservation quality matting options will safely protect your customer's artwork. You know what questions and observations will help reveal your customer's design style, and how to engage in a collaborative design consultation. You know how to choose matting colors and textures that will make the artwork look its best. And you know that adding multiple layered mats, fabrics, details such as V-grooves, fillets, and spacers can add visual character and value to framing designs, and will enhance your customer's custom framing experience.